So today, something completely different. Woot! <laughs> today we're going to talk about Dear Emmy Blue. It's by Leah Louise. Uh, I I got sent this book for review from NetGalley. I've had it sitting in my TBR list for a while, but it didn't come out till this month, so I kind of pushed it off. The basic premise is a girl, as part of, I think, a class assignment, has to write a letter and put it in a balloon and let it go. As such, her balloon was found by a boy in France. So I think she lives in, like, England somewhere. I couldn't quite figure it out. She, she kept saying she lived in Calais and I don't really know where it was, but I know it's on France. So she sends the balloon. It's found by this 14 year old boy named Lucas who immediately emails her back. And it was at a really good time in his life that he found this balloon because he had just moved to France and he hated it. He was having a horrible time. So he starts writing and sprinkled throughout the book, although it's, this book is not told chronologically, it's told in present with like flashbacks of things that happen to give you a little bit more of a background as you read. So they're starting this whole thing and she becomes almost a part of their family. Um, he has a half brother named Elliot. So she really thinks of them as her family, but she's falling in love with Lucas. Something traumatic happens to her in high school that basically not only causes her to go through a really tough time, but also pushes a lot of people in her life away. She is now coming back around. She still remains friends with Lucas and she really wants to be the girl in Lucas's life, but then she finds out that Lucas is getting married and has asked her to be his best woman. And the really sad thing is the person that he's marrying is this really lovely, friendly, giving, loving person. Like the kind of person that everyone deserves to have. So she can't really feel bitter about it. In fact, she's friends with this person. So she's, she just kind of resigns herself to the fact that she probably won't ever be with the love of her life. I, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it right there and tell you that when I got to that part, I had already been struggling through this book. I was like, it's a really cute story and everything, but I'm not compelled to read more. I'm not like, yes, the story is driving me forward. I need to read more. No, I wasn't really like that. So I stopped reading and I went over to Goodreads and I started reading some reviews that people had posted on Goodreads about this. And one particular review said, I almost DNF'd this book, but along came this third character, Elliot, and let me just tell you, keep reading, you won't, for, you won't forget it. And I went, well, that's my case, so I might as well just keep reading. So then along comes Elliot, who is Lucas's half-brother, and then the story really becomes this interesting tale where the characters really f just kind of fall in line. So I guess I'm telling you that this book is very slow to start, but once you get to the part that you're supposed to get to, it really takes off. <laughs> As far as my opinion of this, um, I don't think this is my kind of book. It really isn't your kind of book. <laughs> no, uh, but, not. you know, it's, it was something lighter, something I was happy to be reading after reading so many thriller books. Yeah. I actually ended this book just like... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, there is kind of a mystery element to it, actually, because there are some things in this book that just aren't what they seem. Like, you really think that there are some things happening where you're like, oh yeah, this is a great story, this is a great story, what is that about? And then other things start falling into place after that. That's really all I can tell you because I don't really want to give it away, although you might be able to guess just how I'm talking about it. But if you like contemporary romances and if you like stories that are just full of heart and just complex relationships and just love, then, and I'm, by love I don't necessarily mean romantic love, you will love this book. This book is is great. Like, I was so glad that I finished reading it, and I thank you to whoever that was on Goodreads who said this, because I'm glad I finished. <laughs> I'm glad I finished this book. I gave it four stars because of, you know, it not, you know, not, the beginning could have been better, um, but it 
ended great. So, yes, I'm I'm happy okay. for that book. Yeah. Good. Not your book, though. Not my book. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.